In this video, I'm going to talk about basic typesetting and equations in LaTeX. Here are the concepts we're going to go over. So here is a snippet of a document that I created in LaTeX. There are a lot of features here, and we're going to discuss just about all of them. So to get a document like this, I start with the Hello World that I created in a previous tutorial. And recall that it has the basic elements of a document. There's a preamble that's shown here. It starts with a document class. And then there's the body. The body is the document environment, starting with begin document and end document. And text we want typeset appears in the body. We'll expand this to create our document. So to get this first paragraph, I add code to the body. And note in this picture that there is an end document statement, so the body has to be closed, but it's not shown in this screen capture. For this new paragraph, I added this text. And I note that paragraphs are delineated by one blank line. So I add a carriage return after hello world and another carriage return for a blank line. And then LaTeX regards this as a new paragraph and typesets it as such. The next thing we want to look at here is inline math. So inline math is mathematical typesetting that is set inside of the normal text. And it is part of the paragraph. It reads as part of the paragraph in the sentences. Uh, I've highlighted here the inline LaTeX in this first couple of sentences of the new paragraph. And the way to get that is you type the paragraph with the characters you want, but the math expressions that are to be typeset get enclosed in a pair of dollar signs. And then to get the superscripts like y to the power 2 and z to the power 3, you use carrots. So here is the y caret 2 and the z caret 3. You can use underscores to get subscripts. Multi-character superscripts or subscripts require that you enclose the superscript or subscript in braces. I give you a couple examples here. I didn't put them in the type setting, but here is a two-character superscript with x to the power 10 and a three-character subscript, z subscript opt. And it turns out you can make subscripts that have subscripts or superscripts that have superscripts, and that's just an aside. Next, we consider display math. So display math is different from inline math because it is set apart from the regular text. And to accomplish this, you can do a couple of things. The first, I'm not demonstrating here, but instead of single dollar signs to delimit the display text, you can use double dollar signs. But the preferred way is to use an equation environment. So here is an equation environment for equation number one. It's delineated by a begin equation and an end equation statement. And then the type setting is just as before. I add a note here that I can add a, an extra white space by using this backslash semicolon. And so we can just do that as before for these other equations, two and three, that I've highlighted. And notice I'm showing here uh, there are characters that have both superscripts and subscripts. And fractions are something that we often want to typeset. To do that, we can use the frac command. It has two inputs. The first input is the numerator. The second input is the denominator. So here's the code for that equation 4. And we accomplish integrals using the int command, where we provide the upper limit like a superscript and the lower limit like a subscript. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please like, subscribe to, and share my channel. Upcoming tutorials will include labels and cross-referencing in LaTeX, and including basic graphics in LaTeX. And also, I would like to show you soon Lix. It's a great program that many people find more user-friendly than LaTeX, but the engine is LaTeX, and that's what's doing the real work. Thanks for watching.